Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and today my book is all about maths and uh, the topic is Rewind. Uh, Rewind means just all the topics I'm going to cover like what we did last year with Vivan and I'm going to make a series of books uh, just so that he can revise and he can like uh, just rebrushing the, the stuff that we did and these are the stuff that I used make for making this activity so a lot of stickers a lot of my favorite sticker books and we need just a dice uh, as a prop and of course a pencil and an eraser so taking forward uh, inside the book it says 2018 December like just totally ignore that I started making in 2018 and uh, I'm I'm recording it now. It was like ready a couple of weeks back. Yes, yes. I am I am really behind schedule. So I maybe I need to rewind too. Okay. So uh, just off the record, uh, these are the topics that Vivan has done. He's just turned six year old. He's in kindergarten right now. I'm telling uh, to all the new subscribers, welcome back to my channel and. Um, uh, this this if this is your first video that my son's name is Vivan and he goes to kindergarten here I stay in the US and um, we did all these uh, topics last year or this year and I'm gonna make a number of books and this is how um, I'm gonna cover like six to seven topics in each book okay so uh, the the topics here as counting skip backward odd and even ordinal before in and after missing numbers group of 10 number line and then clock and subtraction multiplication measurement so if you see going forward the one thing that I'm gonna keep constant for Vivan now is uh, we are focusing more on how to read directions and then doing it by himself okay so uh, you might see in a lot of my uh, new videos that I'll be posting that I will be focusing a lot on directions so I've written the word directions and then there is number one he needs to read this and he needs to do it and then he needs to use this uh, read the second one and then do it at the same time so basically this one is for greater and same number plus less so he needs to figure out how it needs to be done so that's activity number one then that's a throw and count activity that's where you need the dice and you have a lot of directions here so it's like play with the partner place game markers on the start so you have to put two play markers here and uh, use a dice throw and move with the number take turns each player moves to the next space when he gets the same number as the circle okay so if it's 10 they need to count if it's 10 the only then they can move forward otherwise they will be starting at the same time the first player to reach the end wins so this is how we're going to do this the second one is vocabulary basic this is um, the, uh, the few words that we use in maths and because he's learning Spanish as well so I have just to brush up I have written the words and then the same uh, the meanings or the, the words that we say in Spanish are here he needs to just match them then here we have again from uno to diez which is like one to ten uh, he needs to write them in ordinal number Roman numerals and number names so in three different ways and all three of them we have done before okay then we have floaty count here which is like a balloon game and here again you have directions you have to write total number of balloons total number of green balloons pink balloons and then total number of orange plus white balloons so the white is this these stickers I don't know if it's very very clear in the picture but like when you see yes they are you can very evidently see them then you have an addition mission so you have four objects top and each object has been uh, coded with a number and a color and the color is here so it's just not addition in the meanwhile I have given him subtraction in the meanwhile and two multiplication too um, here I've asked him to write a Roman numeral and ordinal number okay I should have to change that to just a mission and not addition mission point noted I'm going to correct that okay so we here we have what's missing which is what's next before between and after so that's next before in between and what's missing and he needs to finish that so I have used my dot markers uh, dot stickers here to just make it easy and look more even okay so here it's all about money so your aunt gave you $50 for your birthday which things can you buy with 50 circle them also total the amount and write here so in $50 he has to see what all is he buying and uh, once his wish list is over he needs to add up and he needs to write here then we have here group of tens he needs to like count and make group of tens and then he needs to write ones this that's one activity 
and the same one is here which is like a little simpler way I have just written the number here he needs to break them into tens like it's 22 it's two tens and two ones so that's how he needs to expand and write it here then it's subtraction up to 10 read the statement again with directions he needs to read and then there is a color coding here he needs to find the stickers from here and he needs to put the color sticker right where I've given the space to him then we have add or subtract so like you have to see six dash three uh, either it can be a plus or a minus and the answer is here so he needs to figure it out is it six minus three or six plus three so it's basically because uh, I think that's a little brain teaser and it's all jumbled up and mixed so I think it's going to be pretty interesting for him then it's like roll a dice and add plus three or more so Either we will use this dice or we'll use a simple dice. And then if it's 11, he needs to do like 11 plus 3 is equal to what? Okay, and then it's 11 or like if it's 9, 9 plus 2 equals to what? So that's how he needs to do. So all this is like 3 and all these are like 2. Uh, then we have ordinal numbers on this side. Uh, who's the heaviest is basically like a gut feeling game like write one two three to rank the objects from lightest to heaviest and there's a cat spider and a bird he needs to like have a gut feeling and then write it there's a boat a crab and a fish there's a glider plane truck and a crane yeah so he needs to do that uh, the last activity which is like a fun activity too it's like a height ladder the directions are list the objects according to their height on the ladder below begin with the smallest and move up to the ladder to the big biggest object so you have the stickers here and he has the stickers all the stickers right here he needs to take the sticker and he needs to start from here and go to the top so that's it guys these were the activities that we're going to do and that's uh, just to remind you this is just book one I'm going to come up with more books uh, for a rewind series and the same is going to happen with the um, English and with the brain teasers too Thanks for watching guys if you have any questions do drop in below and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching guys see you next time